Hey hockey fans, Kyle Robinson here with your TV. We have a very special feature we're going to be doing here today inside the Pembroke Memorial Center where actually dreams are made come true here in the CCHL. Again, this arena, so much history, 71 years of Lumber King hockey right here in these walls. And now we're going to talk to one of the senior players on the Lumber Kings, Ryan McNally. Ryan, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, no worries. So this is now, I guess, your second full season with the Lumber Kings and yeah. you're actually part of the leadership core. Yeah. Does that kind of come with a lot of pressure on your shoulders? I mean, it was a little, it was a little difficult at first because, you know, it's a little, you first year I kind of came in and it was a tough season last year. But then, you know, came out this year, obviously had the A on my chest, so I wanted to make sure like we were ready to go this year. And I think it's been a great start so far. The team's been really good so far. I mean, we're cutting out the gates flying, so it's been pretty good so far. What do you think is kind of the backbone that really keeps this team going forward year in and year out to kind of be that competitive team and really bring the fans into the PMC. Yeah, I mean, our goalies have been really strong the past two years. We got two really great goalies this year, Kevin Jones and Phil Rondina. Every game they've given us a chance to win so far, and I mean, we've just, our scoring's just starting to come along now. We're starting to get two, three a game, and with our goalies in net, we can win every game with that. Okay, obviously big wins against Brockville in overtime. Of course, the showcase was always jam-packed with lots of overtime action. Um, did those character wins, is that something you really didn't really have last year with the team only coming away with 10 wins in the CCHL? Yeah, I mean, it was tough last year. We didn't have a lot of, I don't know, our goalie was great last year too. I mean, our defense were good, but we just couldn't find the scoring last year. I mean, a lot of guys, we have five, six guys coming back, starting to, starting to kind of kick it in gear. And we have a lot of great new guys who are here too. So, I mean, we've had a lot of character. I mean, like you said, our past two wins have been in overtime and we've found ways to win, being down two, going to the third both times. So, I mean, I think it just shows how deep we are in a team. So, Ryan, obviously there's a video that goes around on YouTube mm -hmm. with you playing with the Whitewater Kings last year, pulling yeah. off the Michigan. Yeah. Are you able to show us a good demonstration? I think so, it? yeah. All right. How does one player do that? Can you show us kind of how to hold the stick properly? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, obviously it took me a couple of years to do that, but I mean, I just, a lot of people, some people cradle it like that and pick it up. For me, I kind of do it, like I just scoop it. So, I mean, years of playing street hockey on the road, just trying to get the puck on your stick so you can do something. So I just kind of come in, I just give it, scoop the bottom hand and it kind of gets up most of the time for me. So for the young hockey players out there, obviously you're a winger and maybe sometimes play center. Um, a lot of the confusion I would find with some young hockey players uh, with Pembroke Minor Hockey is they have a hard time gaining the zone. Can you yeah. show us what you would maybe do when you were going to hit the blue line? Yeah, I love cutting to the middle. It's a little risky sometimes. You can get your head taken off, but I mean, as long as you get your head up, you can, you can take the middle a lot of times. So normally, normally I am playing left wing, so I'm coming in from the left side. Normally I just like to kind of come in I cut to the middle and just get some sort of shot off. So again, another thing for the wingers too is position when you're breaking out of the zone, right? Yeah. So with the defense here and the wingers on the sides, can you kind of show us how a proper way to kind of get out of the zone a little yeah, bit? Yeah, I mean, you want to you don't want to be too high because if you're too high, you get the puck, the defense is going to be right on. You're going to have no time with the puck. So normally I like to come a little lower, get around the hash marks, get the puck from the defense. Okay, let's try it. I appreciate you taking the time to chat with us today. Yeah. Obviously, it's a long season, but the team is off to a great spot. Mm -hmm. Sitting in third place in the Robinson division, we hope you're nothing but the best this season. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me. Game time. Game time.